Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, back with the video. Um, this video is going to be uh, introducing different type of platforms. I don't know if I made that video already or not, but uh, let, let me just walk you through with some of the hardware that I have uh, at my disposal. Uh, this is known as USRP X310. Um, uh, this is probably the highest. Now they have a different version of this. I think they have X400. Now they have X3, uh, X420 uh, or something like that. They have different version of, uh, of this USRP. And they also have uh, changed the color of the box. So this all made out of metal box. Inside of it, you have a uh, FPGA. And then you also have a daughter card that looks something like this that you can mount. So this is the daughter card. So this is the model number for the daughter card, which is UBX40. Uh, and for for this particular X310, they also have an exclusive card, which is uh, RF daughter card, which is called UBX160. That has a bandwidth of about 160 megahertz. You can mount two of these cards here. So one here. So I only had one of these 160 megahertz cards. So this is mounted here. You can also mount another card here. Or you can mount two of these together. So UBX40. So you can mount one inside of this USRP. And on the other hand, you can also mount one of this. So you can mount two of the either 160 UBX160 160, or either you can use UBX40. Both of them are compatible with your USRP X310 ports. Um, on the back of this, so you'll get like 2 by 2 MIMO. Uh, I'll explain the other one as well. So this one is by Ethos Research. Uh, this is basically bought. Ethos Research was, I think, um, NI is the parent company. Uh, when I first got my USRP, it was actually Ethos Research was the one who was actually manufacturing this. But uh, now I think NI bought it. And they also make uh, uh, that support LabVIEW. But the one that I have, they all have GNU Radio. Um, I have burned a firmware of a GNU Radio. Uh, so you have RF daughter card one, you can mount two, you get two by two transmitting stream, two by two receiving screen. This is quite bulky. On the back, you have a couple of ports. Uh, you can, this, so this is your power, and this is where you're gonna connect your SPF. Uh, that gives you about a one gigabyte or 10 gigabyte of connection that goes in the back of it, like this. And you can, you can plug in your ethernet cable here. And these are just reference out, reference end pin, GPS antenna, if you want to mount a GPS antenna, uh, PPS triggering, and PPS triggering, and things like that. Uh, that's the basic idea uh, of uh, USRP X310, which is this USRP. Now, the next thing that I have is actually N210, and uh, I got a couple of these. You can only use, so this is also by Ethos Research. Uh, you can, uh, this is known as USRP N210. Now they have USRP 310s, 320s, and things like that. Uh, this is, so if you want to configure, so this is where you're going to connect to your computer using an Ethernet cable. And this is a MIMO expansion uh, cable. So you can connect two of these together in MIMO configuration. So you'll have two by two stream. One of them is transmit and receive. The other one is receive only. This thing, it used to, uh, when Ethos Research started off, I mean, they used to make different type of daughter card. Oh, I have for this N310s, I have UBX40. That is compatible with both X310 series. I don't know about the latest one, but uh, this is definitely compatible with X310s and X300s. And you can also use this uh, to... Um, uh, N210s also have the same daughter card, uh, which is UBX440. Why have I chosen this particular daughter card? Because this thing has a frequency range from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. And it will just like directly fit into your motherboard of your USRP. Nothing fancy going on at the back of your uh, of N N210. Uh, it's just simple. You have a fan that is uh, blowing some air. You have uh, uh, transmit and receive, MIMO expansion, and then you have like a couple of these uh, reference in and PPSN. And if you want to like, you know, clock it with an external clock, you can use these inputs. 
and in the back as well. Now the next thing that is there is actually your Adlum Pluto SDR. This is your Adlum Pluto SDR. Uh, uh, this is probably the cheapest one you can buy. I think I got it for like around two hundred dollars. That this thing has a frequency range of about uh, I, I, I three twenty five megahertz all the way up to three point eight gigahertz. And there also you can I think uh, you can you can update the firmware and you can get up to six gigahertz. The cool thing about all of these platforms, including all the USRPs. N210s, any USRP series, uh, Universal Software Radio Peripheral by Ethos Research, uh, they are all full duplex, which means you can simultaneously transmit and receive. So does this Adlum Pluto SDR. You can simultaneously transmit and receive using Adlum Pluto SDR, but you have a frequency range of about 325 megahertz all the way up to 3.8 gigahertz. It comes with both transmitting and receive antenna. Uh, you can power it up using this or you can connect to your laptop or to your PC or to your device using a port here. Uh, it has many USB there. So all three platforms are are, are, are your um, full duplex. Now the next thing which is my favorite and I think I got them. Originally I got it in 2014 for about $300, $299 which is known as Hack RF. Um, this thing is all open source. Uh, the schematics are open source. The hardware is open source. The software is open source. It works perfectly fine. All of these components that I've introduced, they work perfectly fine with GNU Radio. Um, this also works with GNU Radio as well. Um, Hack RF, that's what it's called, Hack RF. So this thing is a half duplex device, which means either you can transmit or receive using Hack RF. Nothing fancy going on. You can have a uh, clock input and clock out and you'll have a single port. Either you can you connect your antenna here, either you can use this to transmit or receive. Frequency range for this device from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. I really like this device. It's, uh, it's light, it's portable. Um, you, can, you can take this around anywhere you want. Uh, also it comes, uh, I think they also made a port pack for this. So a lot of things is just like right in front of that screen. So that's this. So then this is Nulek. This is an original dongle that by Nulek, I got these and these two together back in 2014. They work perfectly fine. Uh, uh, this is actually, had it has a tuner chip of RTL 2832 or 2823. And, but it has a tuner chip that is R820T. So this goes from about 50 megahertz or 70 megahertz all the way up to 1.7 or 1.8 gigahertz. Um, and they also have a better version of this chip now is R820T2. So that particular chip, I think it gives you better sensitivity and, and things like that. So this is, these both of these guys are quite old. That That's like almost 10 years old, I got it. Uh, then I recently got something else from China. So I got these two from US and 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 this one I, I recently bought from China. This this thing uh, it it does it, it does not have R A two A two zero T chip in it. It has Fiddy Power F C zero zero one two chip in it. Uh, why am I saying this? Because this thing has a frequency range from uh, fifty megahertz all the way up to around. Uh, I, it has a cap somewhere around around one gigahertz. I would say 945 megahertz. This is uh, that's the tuning frequency of this device, and both of these devices that you are seeing right now, uh, uh, these dongles, uh, they are actually uh, receive only devices. You can only receive something from this these two devices. Uh, you cannot transmit using any of these devices. It's just like it has a USB interface, and you have a connector which is known as an MCX connector. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, so this MCX connector, that is generally there on these dongles. Uh, so you can buy this this connector. This is known as MCX to SMA female. So this is known as M MCX a male to uh, SMA female connector. So you can mount it here 
and you're going to stick an antenna there. Uh, you can stick any of these uh, SMA based antennas. Otherwise, it comes with a very crappy antenna. Let me show you that as well. Uh, this is the antenna it comes with, uh, like with an MCX connector. Uh, but uh, but you can use a good antenna like something like this, uh, SMA based antennas or SMA based antennas like this. Uh, that comes with Adlon Pluto SDR. So that's the basic idea. Uh, that's why I wanted to make video. Of course, there you have platforms like Blade RF and things like that. Uh, that are also there. And now there are like a lot of different companies which are making different platforms, which are much cheaper. Now these devices, which are USRPs, they, they they're going for really high prices. I mean, I was just googling it, and I on Ethos Research now N210. Just the box itself. So when you buy these USRP devices, you're just buying the box. You have to pay separately for your RF daughter card, which is this. So these itself, they are like about two thousand dollars. And N210 nowadays, it's about thirty-five hundred dollars just for N210. When I got them, they were really, really cheap. So that's the basic idea. I just wanted to walk you through it. So based on what your uh, what you're trying to achieve these are different platforms which you have available uh, uh, to do software defined radio and other things like that so if you have any questions uh, leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching